by my civilization or that's right oracle is planning to remove civilization from java language but why so let's find out in this video <laughs> Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's get started. Civilization was a horrible mistake. Oh no, I'm not saying it, it is said by Mark Randhold. He is the chief architect of JPG at Oracle. Now why civilization is so important? What if I say in most of the project we use this concept and Oracle thinks we should remove it. But what is civilization and where do we use it? Where do we use it? We use it everywhere. RMI, REST clients, if we talk about JMS, we use it everywhere. But what is serialization? So it's a very simple concept actually. So let's imagine if you have an object structure because object has some features, right? So object knows something, object does something. Now when you say object knows something, that's data, right? And if you want to transfer this data, if you want to transfer this object from one place to other place, of course, we cannot transfer objects because those are living things in your JVM. So what you do is you transfer this serialized form of it, what, what, what it means. So if you have an object, what you will do is you will try to serialize it and you will get a byte stream. Now that will be a simple file or a normal text. Then you will send that text so some, to some server. On that server, you will fetch, you will create an object again using that data. Okay, uh, that's very complex, right? So just imagine this: we have a, we have a machine from this ob from this machine we have an object, right? In this object will be serialized to get a byte stream, and that byte stream will go on the network. It will go on the on the receiving side, and then you will create again object again. So this concept of creating a byte stream is called a serialization, and the concept of you know again creating the object from a byte stream is called as deserialization. Now somewhere it has, your JVM has to be smart enough, right? Because to serialize it, it is very simple. But what happens when you deserialize it? That's where the problem starts. Because when you deserialize it, you, your, your classes, your JVM try to detect which class is which class object we have to create. And it try to match the pattern and that's where it generates object. Again, it's a very complex process, but just to simplify it, your JVM try to guess which, which class object we have to instantiate. And that's where the security issue starts. Most of the servers which are using Java, they got affected. In fact, not affected, but they were vulnerable. So there, are, there were some researchers, they found out, they found out some issues with the, with the Java part and the Java civilization concept. And they realized this is very vulnerable because if attackers can attack this thing, they may attack a lot of servers. And that's, what, that, that's where this issue started. And what was the main package? It was Apache Commons Collection. Now it's a very common library which we use everywhere and most of the companies they use this library. Think about Google, Apache, uh, Apache itself they use it for a lot of their projects. Then we have Cisco, HP, they all are using this library. And this library has a flaw of the de deserialization issue. And just imagine if this company, any of the server got attacked, just imagine how big it, it would be. And that's why this company started providing fixes. And so that was a temporary fix, right? But ultimately Java was having this security issue because we all claim Java is one of the secure language or most secure language, but this is where the problem starts, right? Because we have this issue. And that's why Oracle thinks it's time to remove civilization. But in which version? That is still not sure. We are, we, they are still trying to find out which version will be suitable for this. Maybe next version, maybe, maybe 10, 11, or 10 is already there, 11 or 12. They're not sure in which update they will do this. But what if there are some companies that are, they are already using civilization? So best tip would be try to recreate your project without that concept. And if you are getting a new project, how would you stop civilization? So there's a concept of civilization filter. You can implement that. So you can just search, go to Google and search for civilization filter. You can implement that to stop civilization. Uh, because you don't want to serialize all the classes. You Maybe you want to serialize some of them, which is, which is not that big. So you can try it out. So go for civilization uh, filter. Now, if you're a student, you should know this because if you are learning a new concept in Java, you should know if it will be there in future or not. And if you're building a project, just don't use it. So uh, that's it from this video. I hope you got, you got some idea about this relation problems. Uh, so if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone.